So guys, today I'm going to be going over my EDC for the woods and just what I carry for everyday carry or essentially in a smaller pouch and generally what I'll carry for most tasks in everyday carry. So before I get into what's actually in this pouch, I'm going to be going over why I carry this pouch. And generally, you'll generally see a lot of smaller pouches carried by a lot of woodsmen. That's because I, like most other woodsmen, especially YouTubing woodsmen, uh, have rather heavy uh, backpacks that are also, at the same time, pretty bulky and big. And so when you have this type of big backpack that works better as a mobile HQ, it can be a little bit hard to want to carry it or really to actually just carry it in general for most tasks. And while I love the backpack uh, for being a mobile HQ, it really has more than I need for every single task that I'm going to be taking on. And so essentially why I carry this small little pouch, this back here, is because it's lightweight, it's very versatile, and once again, it's not bulky, it's very slim. I mean, of course it does add some bulk to me, but it's certainly not as much as the backpack. And once again, being that it's more modular, uh, and I would be able to tailor this to what I want to do. So with this uh, breakdown video, I'm just going to be showing you guys what this looks like in a general situation. But keep in mind that this is also the pouch that I would carry if I was doing any specific tasks, such as hunting or fire lighting or any more specific task, this is what I would carry. But of course, I might outfit it a little bit differently. Like I said, with hunting, if I am going hunting with this pouch, I'm going to have so more that's ammunition. That's why it's more for... modular, and I can set it up just how I need it, but without having a lot of gear. Like when I carry the backpack, I'll get the ammo, but I'll also get the tarps, I'll also get the you know knives, whatever else I'm carrying in there. So with this, it's very modular, and I can set it up to fit my needs exactly, not just what I everything I'll ever need. So let's, without any further ado, let's dig into this pouch. Guys, before we get into this pack any further, I just want to quickly say don't forget to comment, like, share, and if you guys are not already, please subscribe because it really means a lot. And keep in mind, I'm the only one up here in Fairbanks making awesome videos out here in the woods. So I truly have a unique and really awesome perspective to share with you guys, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. The externals of this, as you guys can probably notice, there is a flashlight right here, and I carry this flashlight more just for an emergency if I'm ever stuck out in the dark or if the sun goes down, whatever happens. I carry this little through night. Um, I think this is like the XS. I think it's called the XS, like the XS, not like XS, but XS. And I really like it because it uses one AAA and it produces up to 110 lumens. So it's a very great light for finding your way back to your backpack. And once again, you'll see some survival gear in this pouch because it's a smart idea that if you are leaving your backpack, it, it's it's really important to have at least a little bit of survival goods should you have to stay away from your backpack for whatever reason. And so you'll see a little bit more survival goods as we dig in. So the next thing in here is just a very basic compass. This is a Brunton Classic, which has now been replaced by the Truark 3. But it's just a very basic compass. Very, It works just fine for finding way and you know knowing like which direction to go. Obviously, it's not an insane... Uh, awesome compass that's made to be used with a map but it works quite well for this application so now I'm digging into the meat of the backpack so or not backpack but a uh, little pouch and by the way I should note this is a Maxpedition Janus uh, pocket extension is what they call it but it's really more like a fanny pack but either way I really like it so in here, there's three compartments, as I think you guys can see. There's one on this side, there's this middle, essentially, channel or row, and there's another compartment on this side. So in this middle channel, I have about 10 feet of paracord, and then over here in this, I have, and you guys can't really hear the rattle, but in here I have matches, and what I've actually done is to silence the matches, uh, I put some steel wool, this thing one screw, hopefully you guys can see, I put some steel wool in there along with the uh, striker for the matches. So that's what's in there. In addition to that, 
I have some water purification tablets once again just in case I need to because I'm not with this kit I'm probably not generally going to be having my full-on like water bladder or uh, water bottle so should things get bad you know um, I'll have to purify water using this iodine so other than that still in this channel I have a couple I think two or three uh, plastic bags here once again to be used primarily for water, water catchment, catchment and just carrying any gear I need to carry uh, so that's what those are and then I have a couple band-aids in here just in case you know for whatever happens because obviously I'm gonna be detached from the IFAC which is in the backpack so should I cut myself it's not the end-all to be-all but a couple band-aids is a lot better than nothing and then on the very bottom I carry a bandana so I carry several bandanas throughout my packs but I actually are different pack systems but I actually really love bandanas if you guys don't already know bandanas have tons of use so you might as well carry a handful of them but anyways now going into this side this side's more fire oriented and so what i'm carrying in here is a pretty big chunky piece of chaga and then next to that i actually have a pellet tin full of uh, char cloth and then next to that i have some wet fire and then next to that i have a ferro rod just a good old trusty ferro rod so that pretty much is the fire side of this and then the other side just has a whole bunch of different kind of things that aren't necessarily in one group but I have some zip ties in here I also have a whistle of course and then next I have a granola bar just in case you know once again I'm separated from the backpack so if I need to get something to eat I have some food in here and then lastly I have a spider co devil stuff which is a sharpening rod so that's pretty much what breaks it down of course like i said this is like the base layer of this so this isn't like super comprehensive like having ammo or having some of the more uh specific stuff but this is just the general stuff that this kit carries uh, in here and then of course like i said if i were to do anything like hunting or if i were to do any axe work or if i wanted to do any like material processing or whatever i would of course bring the more specific gear and fit it in here so that is essentially what this looks like um, and this is pretty much my everyday carry pouch while out in the woods and i think it carries overall a lot of gear that i really like to have and what would be really nice once again there's also quite a few survival things in here and that's one of the primary purposes of this pouch is because quite a few times uh, last year i was really caught without having anything good because a lot of times even last year i would break away from my backpack and go on like little adventures and i would just have, have this, all stuff this stuff in the backpack and it would be great if i was by the backpack but like so there were a handful of times where I, ha I didn't have stuff that I really needed or really, really wanted to have, and I didn't have it on my body. So that's why I really began to make this, is so that I could have the needed stuff that I to have for uh, but my different bushcrafting tasks. I know one time, especially with hunting, my friend and I, we weren't necessarily going out hunting, but we saw hair and I shot at the hair and I only had the round rounds rather that were in my rifle and I quickly depleted them unfortunately didn't hit the hair and that was it and so one of the lessons that really sunk in with me of why I really needed to make a kit like this was that if I would have had like I had extra ammo I had over 200 rounds in my backpack but I didn't have those 200 rounds on my body. So essentially it was like not even having them at all. So that was when I began to really realize that I should have something like this for my bed. I carry my backpack and put on me when I got out in the woods and would help me be just better prepared for when I went on those solo tangents. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this nice look at my everyday carry for the woods or my essentially small expedition pack really is what I like to think of it as more than everyday carry. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for now. So that's it for now. As always, I'm out.